Okay, the latest additions to my 8088 computer are obviously I've got some I.O. going on there. Um, let's see. Turn the light on over here. <clears throat> this chip right here is a 74, actually it's an SN74LS32N um, OR gate. Uh, this one here is an SN74LS02N NOR. And this chip right here is kind of interesting. Um, it's a SN74HC259N. And what that is, is uh, it's an 8-bit addressable latch. And it's also an 8-bit decoder. Um, you can configure it a you know, uh, uh, several different ways. Um, I can't remember all it can do. Um, I think it can do more than that, but I, I um, wasn't concerned about those functions. Um, but basically, I'm using that to decode the lower three bits of the address bus. so that I can tell my big addition here, my 8255 programmable peripheral interface, tell that what port to send data out to or to receive data in from. And this chip right here is a, it's actually kind of a weird model number. It's an MC74F08N. And I actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny, I actually uh, salvaged it off of an old motherboard from 1995. It had a 100 MHz Pentium on it. <laughs> and um, when I upgraded from Windows 95 to Windows 98, second edition. Um, after the installation was done and it restarted, my computer never came back on because somehow that fried the video card. And at that point I was like, well, screw it. I'm done with it. So um, I decided not to let it go to waste and to use it for parts. Um, I'm pretty sure this chip here is also pulled. The 70, I'm sorry, the uh, 8255. The lighting's kind of bad. It's 8255 programmable peripheral interface. I'm pretty sure that was a pull also because of the markings and scuffings on the back of it. But, uh, oh, I also arranged the data bus. I, I made a data bus out of some long strips here and uh, I was kinda running low on on thin strips so I had to use I can't really pull this up too too high because I've got wires plugged into it but um, you can see that I've also got an 8-bit address bus going on right there. My system here is actually it actually has a 16-bit address bus but uh, Right now, I'm only using the lower eight pins. But anyway, um, this programmable peripheral interface, or uh, the 8255, um, it's got four different ports on it. Um, let's see. Uh, port three is the port that you have to program with the right data to tell the other three ports if they have data to output or if they should receive data from external devices. Um, the 8255, it's a great chip to add I.O. flexibility to the 8088. 
Um, and you can also add more of those. But uh, I've also got my oscilloscope hooked up to address line 19, which is um, actually hooked up to my <clears throat> my EE prom where the I've got the program on that that is doing this this shift back and forth on, on this on this um, port here just keeps going over and over and over again um, It's pretty cool. Um, that means my computer can now um, accept input and output data. Right now I don't have any input capability hooked up to it, um, but I'll show you address line number 19. I'll show you what it's doing here on my scope. As the LEDs pulse back and forth, this is what my oscilloscope looks like. And just for fun, I'm going to hook up my scope probe to address latch enable. And you can see that that's also moving back and forth. I've got my, my oscilloscope um, on, uh, let's see, 10 magnification uh, because that's the best way to see it. Otherwise, Otherwise, those pulses would be way too far apart. You know, I, I wanted to be able to bring them close enough to show you what's going on on, on the scope. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what uh, is going on on um, the I/O select line. If I can get my scope probe hooked up to it. It's not wanting to hook up to it. Oh, there I got it. Okay. I'll have to adjust this, I guess. But, uh, that's fixed. It's, it's putting data out at a continuous rate. So, uh, yeah, I mean... <clears throat> It's not going to fluctuate because, as you can see, it's got a constant rate. But, well, I mean, it's progress. I'm going to keep adding stuff to it, and um, I'm having fun doing it. So thanks for, for uh, watching, and stay tuned.